Hi guys, in the previous video we looked at inheritance in C++ and we had a base class and we were able to create a derived class inheriting from that base class obviously and from there we were able to access the member variables which were set to protected and we were also able to inherit or access directly all the public methods from the base class. So today we are taking this a step further and we are dealing with multi-level inheritance which means we're going to have a base class then we're going to create a derived class inheriting from that base class and from there we're going to have another derived class inheriting from our existing derived class so a simple example is what they've they are showing us here we have class a and then that serves as the uh, base class and then from there we have class b which is derived from class a and then we create class C, which is derived from class B, meaning that whatever we have in class C, uh, sorry, whatever uh, methods or member variables that we have in class A or class B, we will be able to access that directly from within class C. So another example is what they have here. We have class triangle. Um, that uh, class only has a simple method. It's a void method. Keep in mind, this is not a constructor. This is a normal uh, void method and it only prints out a sentence, I am a triangle. Then we have this ISO cell. It's a different class, but it's a derived class because it's inheriting from the triangle class. And again, it has a simple method. So we need to create a third class now, which is going to inherit from the ISO cell class right here. Meaning that in that third class, we should be able to access this function here and also this function here. Or both methods and this is what the, we have here in our main uh, program we are we are supposed to create that class equilateral and um, whenever we create an instance of that class by creating this EQR objects we should be able to call the triangle methods which is this one we should be able to call the isocell method which is this one and we should be able to call this equilateral method which we have to create ourselves so uh, the output is going to look like this. I am a triangle, which is that sentence right here. Then I am an isocell triangle, which is that sentence right here. And then I am an equilateral triangle, and we, we need to um, add that to our own method. So as you can see, instead of typing it uh, directly, I decided to simply go ahead and paste it because I've, I've already written that somewhere else. So what we have here is we create our class. The name is equilateral and we inherit from the isocell class, which itself is already inheriting from triangle. Now in this equilateral class, we have a public method, which is void equilateral. And we simply print out this to the console, a simple sentence, which is this one. Now um, that's whenever we create an instance of the equilateral class, which is this EQR object, we are able to access our own methods, obviously. And because it's derived from isocell, we are able to access this method as well, which is public. And because isocell is derived from triangle, we are also able to access this uh, triangle method, which is also public. So that's the beauty in multi-level inheritance, where you can go multiple levels deep and still access things from uh, the very top. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to support this channel. Leave your comments down below, any questions or recommendations that you have. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.